Welcome back all the fans and followers of space fiction. Today we will look at how you can make your interplanetary journey more enjoyable. Interplanetary travel poses two main problems for the crew. The first one is a long journey time and the second one is a long-term exposure to weightlessness. For example, the planned trip to Mars should take about a year. During this time, the crew will have to keep itself in a good condition, because after the landing on a planet, they will have to rely only on their abilities and strength. So what can be done to ensure that the journey does not last that long, and at the same time, how to provide artificial gravity for the crew? There are currently plans for a spaceship, which is given a boost by a powerful rocket engine at the beginning of the journey. The spacecraft immediately gains the required speed, leaves the Earth's gravity and heads for the planet Mars. At the end of the journey, the spaceship is slowed down with the use of the strong rocket impulse and guided into the orbit of the planet. To help the crew to fight with weightlessness, it is also contemplated that such a ship could be equipped with a rotating module to simulate artificial gravity. But these plans require a long flight time as well as a lot of mechanical innovations in the solution of the rotating module, which would still be only a temporary refugee place with a limited space for each passenger. However, let's look a little more into the future and see what would solve these problems. If we can make an engine with specific parameters, we can kill two flies with one shot. All it has to do is to be able to give the whole ship the same acceleration as the gravitational acceleration on Earth for several hours or days. The engine would push the spaceship in the first half of the journey. Halfway through, the crew would turn off the engine for a moment, turn the entire ship in 180 degrees and start the engine with the same force against the direction of flight. The speed of the deceleration should be as big as the acceleration before. And what would that really mean for the crew? Except the moment when the ship was changing its orientation, they would feel the same gravity as on Earth all the time. If such a small acceleration works for a long time, the spaceship will gain a decent speed. The journey to the moon would take only three and a half hours. And the trip to Mars just a little bit over three days. In the middle of the journey, at the moment of turning the ship, it will move the fastest. On the way to the moon, the ship would reach the maximum speed of 63 km per second in less than two hours. And on the way to Mars, it would gain a staggering speed of nearly 1400 km per second in one and a half day. It sounds very simple. So why haven't we been able to make something like that yet? Because rocket engines are currently only able to burn for a very short time, during which they burn an unimaginably large amount of fuel. For future space flights, therefore we need engines that are much more efficient and that can deliver a lot of power for a long time. Ion thrusters are currently the closest to this idea as they can push a space probe for several months. During this time they consume quite a little fuel and are powered directly from solar cells. The only disadvantage is that they still have very poor performance. So if you want to travel through space comfortably and quickly, you will have to wait a little bit more for this type of spaceship. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click a subscribe button if you want to see other amazing videos from the world of space fiction. And if you want to share with us your opinion, just leave a message in the section below.